let's all thank Moonbeam for buying me this two and a half cup citrus juicer. You know what I can do with this? I can make a pretty fancy recipe, let me tell you. Uh, that's coming up in just a moment. Thank you, Moonbeam. Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Batman. Today, we are going to be making the Moonbeam Lemon Chicken. That is going to be delicious. And the first thing, as always, is going to be to remove our van braces and our crime fighting gloves because they are for crime fighting and not for cooking. Now, we're going to want to wash our hands and get used to it because we're going to be doing a lot of hand washing here. There we go. Lots of raw meat in this one. Be sure to get in between your fingers. One hand washes the other. Now, since we have so many components today, we've got to get started right away. First thing we're going to do, add lots of water to a pot. There we go. We won't need that anymore. And uh, the next ingredient, this is going to be for our side dish, by the way. We are starting our side dish first. And we're going to add a whole container of chicken broth. Oh yeah. That's the good color right there. Okay, there we go. Bazinga, gone! Next, we're going to add a beef bouillon cube to our mixture. And we're gonna grab some soy sauce. There we go. We won't need that anymore. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it onto medium heat. It should not boil, but it should get really hot. I'll we'll put it on this side. There we go. There we go. And that has started. Next up, we are going to slit open this package here. We're not going to get started on it just yet, but I am going to introduce you to what we have next, which is our wonton. And our wonton is going to be a mix, and it's going to be Batmanized, because it's going to be both beef and pork. I would have used pork, but um, this was the only thing I could find in the discount meat bit. You're going to want to get your cutting board out. And plop! There we go. You will not need a knife for the rest of this. And right here, we have a bunch of spring rolls, spring pastry rolls. And uh, there's 50 of them. There's no way I'm going to be able to make 50 wontons out of what you see here. So we're going to make as many as we can, and then we're going to throw the rest away. Don't cheat. We don't care. There we go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to separate each one, one at a time here. Uh -huh. Careful not to rip them. If you rip them, you have lots, but still, try to be careful not to rip them. Yes, a decent batch to start with. And here comes one, here comes one. Aha! Like a little piece of paper. I'm just gonna take some of our beefy pork, and fold it over, crunch. There we go, that's one. Sort of like uh, those uh, little decorations that you made in uh, kindergarten, the little ghosts. Take a little piece of tissue paper, and take a little piece of white paper stuff, and just crunch it around your ghost. There we go. And uh, if you use too much water, you didn't use too much water, all you've done is make yourself some more broth. That's why we used chicken flavoring and a beef cube for the broth. And I think that uh, we're going to have a nice brothy one. Some people like a lot of broth, some people like a lot of wontons. In this case, you get to give them their preference. Oh. For this next part, I'm going to be doing this for a little while. Uh, we're just going to speed it up ever so slightly. Oh, 
And that's the last one. There we go. So the rest of these pastries, as far as I'm concerned, they're garbage. I'm not going to make this soon enough that they won't go to waste. But, uh, you know, maybe you don't like the waste thing. So you can continue from there. These are not going to go into the water yet because the water is not yet hot enough. However, we do have to move on to the next phase of our cookie. So the next phase is actually going to take our moonbeam lemon sauce. Mm -mm, it's moonbeam yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our honey. Just a good squirt of honey in there. There we go. And we've got some ginger. Do not overpower the ginger. You will taste it. A pinchy sprinkle. We're going to take our sugar. And we're going to put half a cup. And then I guess half of a half a cup. Whatever that adds up to, right? Who knows? Who cares? And then we're going to have to add a couple cups of water. One cup of water. Two cups of water. We're going to need that measuring cup again, so don't get rid of it just yet. Uh, the next ingredient that we're going to have to add in here is going to be our lemon. We're going to have to use a very special device to do this. Does anyone know what that device might be? Let's see if we can have it reach over here. Beautiful, it reaches. Nice long cord on this too. So we're going to take a knife and uh, the lemon's going to be cooked, right? It's going to be cooked. So uh, yes, there's some meat on this knife and I'm going to cut a lemon with it. What are you going to do? Oh, uh, let's get this side here. Now this is a giant lemon. You may choose to use two large lemons. What I'm going to do with this is I've cut it into three quarters and one quarter. The one quarter lemon in, in the ladle right here, as I purposely did, um, is going to be used to be sliced up and put in here. The rest of it, we're going to juice it. Listen to that. Whisper quiet. Now keep in mind this is a huge lemon. So we're going to get all kinds of juice out of this. Still juicy. It's gonna get the pulp out. Beautiful. We're gonna cut off the end without the piece of sticker. I'm gonna take the other end. Place this right there. More than anything, that is for looks. Okay, we're gonna take this, we're gonna place it onto the stove, and this is going to be medium heat for now, but we'll be getting it up to medium high when we have more control of the situation. There we go. So while that's heating up, we're going to make our cornstarch slurry. This is going to help our lemon sauce thicken. Uh, I guess I ain't so good with measuring. I just like to pour, so, uh, that, that much? That much? Yeah, that works. And we're going to put an equal amount of water. That works for me. about a lemon juice in here. Just gonna pour that directly into our moonbeam lemon sauce. There we go. Oh, let's check the temperature. Not there yet. There we 
go. I've turned up my back stove because I want to start to get those wontons in, but it's not hot enough yet. If the water is too cold when you put in your wontons, uh, they're just going to come apart. They're going to come apart all over the place. It needs to be hot enough to sear the meat onto the wonton noodle, the, the spring roll, whatever you want to call it. Next, chicken breasts. We are going to start cutting this, and then we're going to move on to making our next sauce. First, I just want to show you what we're going for here. Uh, smaller is better. Okay? We are going to be making essentially chicken balls, but we're making small chicken balls. Small chicken balls, because that way there's no chance for a raw spot in the middle. So, cut this. That. And uh, we're going to make a batter for these shortly. That's one. Now, the only reason that we haven't started our oil yet is because it's going to start to stink. It's going to smell very strong. If you heat it up too much and you're not keeping control of it, it's going to splash. I personally won't splash because I, I have control of my heat. I'm going to set it to two and a half on my rapid boil burner, which uh, two and a half out of ten, by the way, is going to bring my oil to probably about a 180, that's Celsius, and that's going to be ideal for putting a golden brown layer on my chicken. Now, if you are cooking your chicken in the oil and you want it crispy, you can cook it for approximately an extra minute. Uh, it's going to be slightly darker golden brown, but it's going to be crispier. Now, you don't see this often, but I'm actually cutting off the fatty parts of the chicken. It doesn't mix well with breading. You just don't want fat and breading mixed together. Oh, we got a little bit of cartilage there. Cut that out. Now we have a lot of lemon sauce. I mean, there, there's a lot there. So um, make a lot of chicken. You don't want leftovers, and if you do have leftovers, uh, you, you can make it again. Uh, this isn't too hard to set up. Once you have all your sauces done and your wonton super refrigerated, so we've got our chicken there. And uh, next up, we're going to prepare our oil really quick. As I said, we're looking for probably a good two inches in here. Uh, fresh oil works best. When you're done with the oil, you can throw it into your deep fryer and uh, use it for other things. Chicken wings, french fries, whatever. We're going to take this oil, put it right here. We're going to set our stove to about two and a half, as I had stated. There we go. And uh, next up, we've got some mix to make, don't we? So this is going to be our batter, and I need to get the milk for this. Remember to keep your milk refrigerated until you need it, and put it away immediately after you're done. So, remember what I said we're going to need a measuring cup? Uh, we're going to have a cup of flour. Now, I don't normally measure things so precisely, but we're using an egg, and eggs come in one quantity and one only. So since I don't have good quality control over the egg's quantities, uh, I need to keep quality control over the quantities of my other ingredients. There we go. A cup of flour. And a cup of milk. Now we don't need that. Remember to put the milk away. 
and the next person to use the milk might get salmonella too. So uh, it's double the fun. Mix this a bit. Take your egg. Find a good place to crack it. That's as good as any. No egg shell. You probably won't see it. There we go. So this is the basis for the batter. Very, very standard at this point, isn't it? There's, there's not much to it. But the fact is, everyone, we're cooking with chicken and we're cooking with Batman. So we're gonna need just a little more. We're gonna have to get some paprika, and I'm gonna use my ladle to get the paprika, just because it's convenient. Uh, so I guess a quarter ladle of paprika, and uh, I'm gonna put some poultry seasoning in there. There we go. Uh, put a fair bit, remember this is clear, colorless, so garlic it up. And uh, the last ingredient that we're going to put in there is some ground white pepper. And it's pretty powerful stuff, so a good sprinkle, probably close to a teaspoon at the most. And you're going to mix this up. You know, the batter is going to be runny unless you let it sit for a bit. So after we're done with this, we're going to start to deal with our other ingredients here. And we'll assess it. If it's too runny, we'll add more flour. If it's not, then it's good to go. Now, I'm hoping this is enough batter for the chicken that I have set out. If it's not, we can always make more, but it should be good to go. So now we're finally gonna rinse our hands. And uh, we're going to give our lemon sauce a little bit of a stir. As you can see, it's come to a boil. It's come to a soft boil. And now is the time for adding our slurry. So we're gonna take our slurry. Now remember that cornstarch is a chemical reaction. It will not thicken unless it bring, is brought to a boil and then cooled down. So I'm going to let you take a look at my lemon sauce, the way it's looking right now. See that? Mmm, moonbeam lemon sauce. And we're going to switch this. We're going to put this onto the back burner. And we're going to bring our wonton broth up to the front burner. So take that down to just a medium warming. It can now cool, but don't let it get cold. And uh, judging by the steam coming off of this pot here, we're ready to start putting wontons in. So you just go ahead, grab them. They're not going to come apart. You're good. Don't splash. There we go. And we're going to take our ladle. Had some paprika on the ladle. I'm just going to dunk it. And it's like, okay to have paprika on the ladle because there's chicken broth in the wonton broth. And uh, we all know that paprika goes really well with chicken. So we can't bring that to a hard boil until some of the meat is cooked through a little bit, otherwise it could come apart. So that should be good to go. How's our oil doing? Just gonna speed up the, uh, the oil a bit. Checking on this. Ah, that's the consistency that we're looking for. Here, let me let me lift it up for you. See that? It's thick enough to really stick to the chicken. Now, I have to warn you, when you're putting in the chicken, you're gonna be putting it into the oil slow enough that you're gonna have to keep track of your chicken. You're gonna be taking them out in the same order you put them in. I suggest to put them in from left to right or right to left, and then remove them the same way. So now we're just going to batter these up. And uh, I guess we'll speed things up for here. Okay, the next step is going to be to test 
our oil. So we just need a little bit of batter. We're looking for some bubbles. That oil is not hot enough. So uh, that would actually be a disaster for me to put everything in there right now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn up the heat on my wontons. I'm going to turn down the heat on my lemon sauce to a low simmer. And uh, I'll see you in about three minutes when my grease is nice and hot. Ah, that's better. Instant sizzle. So I've done that a couple of times since I went off because you don't want your grease to get too hot and you immediately have to take care of it. Um, my heat is a little bit warmer than what I want, but that's perfect because the chicken is actually going to cool down my grease. So now we can actually turn it down to two, where I said I wanted it before. I'm going to turn this down to a solid simmer, and uh, my wonton still haven't begun to boil yet, but that's okay. As soon as it starts to boil, I'm going to turn my heat down. So here we have our chicken. We're just going to pull this back over here. And uh, like I said, we're going to keep track of them the best we can. So we're going to take one, you're going to put it farthest from me. Make sure they have full coverage. If they don't have full coverage with batter, they don't go in. You can hear the deliciousness. Now this is much more of an eyeball thing than it is a timing thing. So we are watching the color of the outer batter. If your grease is even a few degrees hotter than mine, it, they're going to go faster. A couple degrees lower, they're going to need to stay in a couple minutes longer. Or, you know, 10 seconds longer. So that is our first batch. They're in there. Just gonna rinse off my hands. And using a pair of tongs, we're gonna poke. Uh, my goal is for some crispiness. So I am going to keep rotating as needed until they have a slightly darker brown color. I'm gonna grab myself a plate. We're gonna be plating immediately with this. Once they're out, they're on the plate. We're gonna grab ourselves a bowl. The bowl is going to be for the wonton, in case you were wondering, which has now finally come to a boil. And uh, grab our ladle. Looks like a couple of our wontons have actually come out of their shells. Okay. Yeah, more than a couple came out. I'm just gonna blame that I didn't home make my egg noodles. That's all there is to it. There's my wonton, and we're going to turn it from high to off. Side dish right there. Boy, pork. Uh, we're going to take a look at this. Keep them broken apart, otherwise they're not going to cook properly in between the chicken. And uh, logically, the ones on the side I added first are going to be done first.
I'm going to make them a little crispier. I like them crispy. That's good. Now, you have two options for plating. You can either serve each individual person, or if you want, you can make a central um, feeding plate. I was going to plate for one person, but now I'm thinking that the central feeding plate is going to really demonstrate everything I need to show you without doing a second batch of chicken right away. And this one, for some reason, is a little bit bigger. I think it's actually two joined together. So it's going to cook for a bit longer. All right, here is phase one. Phase two. This sauce is going to thicken as it cools. You can pour it on there while it's liquidy, but it will. It will get much thicker. It will congeal. It will congeal almost like jello. There's one lemon slice. There's another lemon slice. Now I'm going to put some dippings on the side. Oh, yes. Wonderful! We can turn off the heat on everything except for the grease. And everyone, if you enjoyed this meal, uh, you're free to check out my other episodes of Cooking with Batman. This has been the Moonbeam Lemon Chicken. Mm -mm. Let it thicken a little more. This is going to be lovely for serving. Everything is still really hot, so you have all the time in the world to make a second course before you serve it. Bottoms up, serve it with some sake.